Yeah, guys, my name is Crystal Keen. I'm gonna be the very best that I can be. Welcome back to Crystal Key After Dark. We have six Hattering boxes to open today. Also, my camera is on very low um, battery, so if it runs out during the recording of this video, I am very sorry. Um, but I really wanted to open these anyway, and I just wanted to record content. They've been sitting here for days and they've been torturing me, and I have to get them open. Obviously, guys, if you haven't realized, we are back in our old location because until I get better lighting in my uh, new setup room, uh, yeah, this is just better because the natural lighting and the lights that I get from the lights in here are so much better. So um, while we do have a face cam, we will crack into uh, these six boxes. We have 24 packs. Surely we can pull a Charizard. That would be amazing. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, guys, we are back. And yeah, this, you can just tell, is so much better lighting-wise. Until I can get this kind of lighting in my room, we're going to stick with this place. We have, and also my camera died just as I finished op opening these. So we are going around with no webcam for this one, unfortunately, today. Because I've already opened these packs and I just want to crack into them. So, let's get right into it. Uh, Champion's Path. What can I say about Champion's Path? It is an interesting set, for sure. Um... The pull rates, you know, I've, I feel like the pull rates in Champion's Path is kind of like you're either getting like godly pulls or you're getting absolutely nothing. There's like no in-between. Like you're either getting everything you could ever want in life or you're getting um, all of the hollows in the world. We have a Marnie Reverse to start it off and on the first one, Altaria, my old friend. I like, listen, I like Altaria as a Pokemon. I don't like getting Altaria in every single pack of Champion's Path that we open. But you know what? That is okay, because we are chasing that Charizard. We're chasing either one of them. Even getting one of the Charizards would uh, drastically decrease the price of the set to get the remainder of the cards. So we are praying for a singular, a shiny one, you know, a normal one, uh, whatever you can give me, that would be amazing. We're two packs in, two for two on the hollows. And I am wasting so many pennies sleeves sleeving up these hollows, even though they're not actually worth that much. Because, you know, a hollow is a hollow. When you uh, sell your book, if any of you guys sell your book, they still count as hollows. So that's still very useful. We have Hop, Team Yelgrunk, cards we have already seen on this channel before, because we have open hidden fates we have weedle reverse hatchroom what a cutie patootie and on the end scrafty hollow so we are almost one box in out of six and we have not had any luck yet but you know what champion's path will do that to you at least hope to get like a a hyper rare because i've still i've opened like more definitely approaching 100 packs of champion's path and we have not received any hyper rares yet out of my opening maybe i'm just unlucky reverse bead and a marnie hollow so that is our first hat that means that one of our boxes had absolutely nothing in it of course i did give them a bit of a mix around i didn't actually put them in order um they are just a bit muddled around but that is okay because it just means that maybe we'll get like you know five thousand you know good cards in a row we have much up nick it Galarian Line Noon, we have Potion, Trubbish, Reverse, Fire Energy, not bad, and Waylord V to start it off. So, in our fifth pack, we get some goodness, but you know, not the goodness we want. I'm going to freak if I get like a Hyper Rare. I really want a Hyper Rare. I actually think that I don't have like the Hyper Dreadnought. I bought a lot of the cards that I need from this set. Hyper Dreadnought is one I am missing. So I would not even be mad with that. We have Vulpix and Marnie again. And we are blasting through this pack because it is past the girl's bedtime. But she just decided, yeah, let's just like randomly open 24 packs of Champion's Path for content on my channel. Because, um... I'm addicted to opening Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards is an addiction, people. Uh, don't get me wrong. You will get addicted to opening things, and they will uh, will keep you up at night just thinking, what if, what if we have my chop, my chop, we have my champ on the end. And oh boy, have I seen so... I wonder how many, like, actual art sets, or well, like, art sets, how many, like, copies of each of the hollows I have from Champion's Path. I know I have, like, half of the world's Altaria population. 100% and we are like approaching halfway and we have gotten one V so this is classic champion's path but you know what would turn it around a singular Charizard we are in our last four packs of the first stack I don't think the packs the stacks were that even so that is all good we have one two three we pull off a lightning energy 
and we go again. We have Great Bowl, Malama, Food Tin, Carvana, Poker Bowl, Potion, Rock Ruff, Hatana, Professor's Reese's. <laughs> I don't have sleeves. I never prepare for when I get the good cards. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Uh, we have penny sleeves. I actually, I always completely forget to get penny sleeves. It's the, like they're so important, and I always forget to get them. My beautiful, beautiful card. It has a bit of a nick there. Probably wouldn't be PSA 10, but that is okay. This is going straight into my binder. It's off center too, but like, I am not mad. Oh my god, this just completely turned around the entire video, guys. This thing is the rarest card that you can get in Champions Path. Thank you so much. I am going to go show the people at the EV Games and Teach Me Plaza. They said if you get it, you have to come show us. I said I was chasing this card. Oh my god, I just dropped it. And the shiny V. Oh. Oh, that's just made my night. Oh my god. And we still have over half the packs left. I don't even care what we get in the rest of these packs, guys. I am cruising on cloud nine right now. There is no way that you could make this better. People go like 200 packs and they don't open it. And I was literally just talking to a friend today about how difficult the pull rates are and how I'm gonna have to spend all of my money to buy out the rest of the set. You know what? That has just made this set so much cheaper for me. You don't, oh my God. You know, I like to play a little game. I like to like look at the back and be like, wow, condition. That's good centering. If that was a good card. That would be insane, but like obviously like you do it for everyone and it takes forever and then it's not anything good and then you're like, oh wow. Okay, we have reverse rock rough and our creamy V adding to the pile. We have three total pulls out of almost 12 packs, but you know what? We get that Charizard hyper, we get the goods, we keep going. Guys, this is again, like I have pulled chase cards on this channel you guys just must be good luck for me because i before like starting this channel i have never pulled chase cards from the set oh my god it's upside down it's an upside down suspicious food tin i didn't even notice it was upside down holy crap guy ah you're so off center as well my dude but you know what we have penny sleeves extra thick Oh, wow. Oh my lord, this is a good video. We still have, I don't even, let's count, four. Oh, I did do it properly. We have 12 more packs and it is a mess here, but we are getting some absolute gold. The Hat, 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 Hat Reen, my, my girl, my dude, you have pulled through so much for me and my accent just went so weird. I don't even know what accent that was. I honestly am so stoked. I am, uh, I don't know what to say. I wasn't expecting this kind of stuff. Another reverse fire. Let's go. More reverse energy and a lichen rock. How do you do lichen rock, my boy? I am, guys, there's nothing that can, that, that can stop me now. My day has been absolutely made by that. And you know what is funny is I was literally saying to someone, I like, the Gigantamax Rainbow Zard more than I like the Shiny V. Controversial opinion. Um, yes, I like, I like my boy Gigantamax Charizard more than the V. It's a rarer card in the set. Uh, it is a fabulous looking card. I can't wait for the Shiny V Max version to come out. That is, I know, going to be received quite well because, um, obviously... It's a shiny V, like of course it's not going to be received well, um, like of course it's not not going to be good. And we've got Grappalog, my buddy, my pal, to add to the fat stack, and you know what? Still got like, four, eight, we have eight 
nine packs left so that you know there's still some chance for some absolute madness to happen and this is what i mean like you know the first couple of packs we were getting absolutely nothing and then all of a sudden we go from zero to 100 we get a gold card which i have never pulled we get the hyper rare which by the way is the first hyper rare i've pulled in this set i just got insanely lucky that i beat those odds my dude scrafty i actually really like scrafty as a pokemon guys i am I'm cruising through this. I don't really like, I don't expect anything more from these packs. These packs have blessed us with the good stuff. And you know what? Uh, thank you so much, Pokemon, for giving me the luck in order to get a chase card of the set. Reverse Metal, let's go, my favorite. I've decided Metal Energy is my favorite type, guys. Metal and Fighting. Like, I'm still tossing up between those two. But you know what, guys? Lucario is my I want to say third or fourth favorite Pokemon of all time. And this art looks amazing. Like, look at that glossiness. I want to get one graded, honestly. Like, just for my person. That one has a nick. But I have, like, three others that I can, like, I can send in that could be worthy of that title. So, don't you worry. Don't you worry at all. I will get a graded Char- I'm going to- uh, a graded Charizard? I'm going to get a graded Lucario just for me, not for anyone else. Because, guys, I know grading is good to increase the value, but sometimes you just got to grade the cards that you like. Like, the cards that are going to make your collection happy. Like, I am a big fan of Latias and Latios cards. I want to grade some, like, 10s. Like, you know, the Team Up alternate art. I've talked about it so much on my channel. I've ruined this pack. Oh, my gosh. I've talked about it so much. It's like an absolute card. I had to buy it, unfortunately, because I did not collect during Team Up. I had no idea of the card's existence, even, until uh, until recently. And then the, the, by then, the prices of, you know, Team Up has skyrocketed because Team Up is a very sort of to set. Hello, Altari. I haven't actually seen a lot of you, so I'm sorry that I gave you flack before. You are... Uh, You've actually not uh, not shown up that often. I'm I'm losing my Altaria population, guys. I'm no longer going to be able to say I own the the population of Altarias, and I don't really know what I'm gonna do after that. Like that's crazy. Like what what am I if I don't own the entire population of Altarias? Full heal and a lichen rock hollow. This is our last Hatterene box, technically, guys. Of the thing, out of six boxes, we have managed to pull one. VMAX Charizard and one secret rare suspicious food tin. Not even bad. Let's see if our last box has anything else for us. We have Trubbish, Kakuna, Weedle, another Altaria. You know what? I, I, I tell the, the boy, Altaria, that I, I'm losing you, buddy. Buddy, where have you been? I've missed you. I haven't seen you in a while. And he comes in with the numbers. So don't worry. I, all I have to do if I'm running out of Altaria um, hollows is to just cold. He'll, he'll be right there. He's always got my back. So we have Kakuna, Swablu, Weedle, Reverse Absol, Scrafty on the end. Final two packs, but you know what? I would say this has been a very successful opening in total. I really don't expect anything else from these packs, but you know what? Pokemon is a weird company. They always do the crazy stuff. It would be absolutely insane to get another pull, but like, you know, odds on Pokemon giving you good pulls. <gasps> Our creamy V Max. I've lost my penny sleeves under a snowball of packs. Oh yes, this has been a good opening. This has been a good opening indeed. We end up with my buddy Dreadnor. We're probably not gonna get anything in this pack. But you know what? We pray to the Poke Gods every single day. It would be absolutely insane. Even if we got like a V to end off this video, I would be absolutely stoked. But you know what? Even if we get nothing. We came out with what we wanted. We came out with that Gigantamax shiny Charizard. Obstagoon on the end. You are the first of this video, so I am not even mad. And let's go through some of the pulls. I'm actually going to sleeve my my Vs up as I show them. We get, ah, oh boy, my, one of my favorite Pokemon ever. We get Lucario. We get my boy Grappolot, who doesn't get a lot of love at all. But you know what? Getting some love today, going in that sleeve. We have our boy Waylord, which we have pulled three of now. But you know what? Still going to go into my collection if he is the best looking copy. 
And then we have our Creamy V for the others. So we get four regular pulls from 24 packs. We get then our amazing, our Creamy V. Beautiful, this insanely off-centered, suspicious food tin. You know what? I wish it got an alignment dot. That would be pretty cool. But it's not, not even close to being off-centered enough for that. It's just off-center. And we get Shiny Boy. We get him. We have saved money. These box costed $40 each, which means that six of them would have been $240. This is about a 750, 800 AUD card. So you know what? I think we have done quite well for ourselves in today's video, guys. If Leave a like for Hyper Rare Charizard VMAX. I am running out of uh, Hidden Fates to open after the Marnie boxes and all of that come out. I believe that's almost the end of Hidden Hidden Fates, sorry. Champion's Path, which means that I'm running out of options to get that Charizard V. And it makes me sad, the shiny one, and I've never pulled the shiny Charizard. I didn't even pull the one from Hidden Fates. I, I actually ended up buying that one before it came back as a black label. So leave a like for my boy. He's not going to get rated, but he will have a special place in my binder, which I got from Palms Off Grading. I don't know why I'm talking about Palms Off Grading, but I should be because he's an Australian business. He does amazing premium things. I am not sponsored at all. I literally was just thinking about it because he released like grading sleeves and stuff as well, which I'm so interested in going to pre-order. So I'm just going to leave a link to his website because you should check him out. He, uh, the owner is such a lovely guy. He like answered like some of my pre-order questions. He sent me the folders. They came so quickly and they are of such amazing quality. This is going to have a special place in that binder. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am so happy we opened them and didn't sell them or anything. Like I didn't want to sit on product. I hate sitting on product. I actually tried to do it and I just realized that I just wanted to open it so badly. So like What's the point? I gotta go clean up this mess. I gotta go to bed. I've got to um, do some other stuff. But thank you so much for watching. Ah, I'm so excited. Bye.